the sender. All the documents has the individual names. It's a special mark, like in human being knows, you know the protocol, TCP protocol in India. In each message, there's a tag who is sending the message. In the same way, dolphins are sending their name who is speaking. So this has been uh, discovered. So uh, maybe sometimes we can have a contact using this kind of musical elements. This is also true for other cetaceans, like uh, in Hawaii, Hawaii area it was similar experiment was uh, done by the local humbuckers there. They are also keen to, to respond to the music. And also, uh, on the same year, 2006, this kind of experiment was uh, repeated in Alaska, where there is a special dolphin species who also responded to, to electric guitar and, uh, and uh, driving device. Uh, maybe you don't know that, uh, for example, Belma has a self conscious they understand mirror mirror image immediately. And uh, they can say also the mirror, the face is like that, something like that. So I think that this is all for this short presentation.
the trees can still stand there. Then we ask the people slowly to rise up and go back to your seats. Slowly bring you back into human state. Into human eyes again. To make sure you have become humans again, take some steps and go back to your feet. The exercise is over. Thank you. Thank you. Long history has this kind of impact that uh, these old hunting traditions are still alive in Finland, so we hunt like in the packs, mooses, and and then I have been practicing more in my art artistry, uh, hunting with cameras and hunting with different sensory apparatuses and using the GPS data to actually track the animals. So I use uh, research data in order to get the paths and the ways and the places where the animals are staying. And during those trips I have been, in many occasions, in, have been in really close contact with the animals. In both occasions, hunting and, and actually the art making has had similar kind of elements that this uh, species and me have, are in the relation to each other. I've been doing a lot of work since last five years in the Over River region, uh, recording uh, bear rituals there. And they have a highly complex uh, relation to nature, and these hunting, hunting processes ends usually with the big feasts. And the feasts are basically getting together the social society. And the same thing happens in Finland also in the moose hunting practices that you have this kind of feast for hunting pack and families. So it brings back the whole, whole uh, society. And this uh, way is quite different from the commercial meat production system that you buy packages of meat and wrap in plastic. So pretty similar to other processes where you go and do the work or do you do collective work and then you expose it to the bigger society, societal network and then it gets things together. It's, uh, it's, it's um, creating uh, intersections in, in, in our sphere. One famous religion uh, that has these features is the Hindu religion. So we have a lot of things of the God vision. So everything we do, everything we imagine, is just part of the big brain. So this is just examples, of course, we can go on for many, many hours, and I'm sure you have histories to share as well. Uh, for me, uh, it's interesting to work on a personal level, so how do I do it? Uh, very easily, if I can, I stay on bed in the morning, <laughs> wake up, and uh, um, we think maybe, okay, I have this dream, it's super powerful, uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to connect to it, and think about it later in the day, because I have to go and do something else. And of course, you forget it. So uh, one very simple trick that is, is, I'm sure that many among you do, uh, would be to actually write down something, even record your voice, but you can do it before you go to bed, or you can do it when you wake up, and you have this interesting dream, and so you find yourself writing about this dream, but you're still connected with this dream space. And so you have sort of two levels of consciousness, on one level you're still exploring the dream, and the other level you are reading what you write. Uh, this, this happens to me, but it's not uh, a, a very strange technique, and you know, a lot of other people can do this. And uh, maybe if you have time, you just shut your eyes and you explore more. 